Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Today's video is going to be something a bit different. Um, I've just received um, a book I've been waiting on for a long time. Um, I don't know what's happening with the postal service these days. Obviously there's still um, lots of delays but I finally have um, this copy of Israel Regardi's The Golden Dawn. Um, I've purchased this via Amazon which um, as you can see this is a hardcover. Um, I thought you know, I'm going to get this book and I'm going to have it for a long time. I want to make sure that, um, you know, I've got um, a decent copy and it's really heavy, um, as you can see here. Um, and look, this is an amazing book because it's obviously um, for all students of the Golden Dawn, but also it has um, all the original accounts of teachings, rites and ceremonies of the Hermetic Order which is essentially, um, it's been revised, this is like a 7th edition, um, but it's basically a book of, um, you know, uh, education around um, having ceremonies, using ceremonial magic in relation to the Kabbalah, um, and, you know, that sort of magical rites, if you like. There's a lot of instruction here as to, um, you know, colours, um, robes, um, you know, grading papers and things like that as well. So it is, you know, it's someone, it's for someone who's really interested in, you know, going the full, uh, the full gamut with the Kabbalah. As you can see here, we've got like a serpent tree of life uh, diagram here with all of our divine names attributed to the uh, Sephira. So this is a, a really intense book, but what I also love about it is it does um, dive into some of the basics when you sort of start out. I sort of noticed in the previous, you know, just sort of flip through it. Obviously, I've only, I've only got this today, so I haven't really had a, a full dive into it. But for example, here we've got book one, knowledge lectures and instructional papers. <laughs> and we've got here neophyte grade papers. So if you're a, a neophyte, I'm assuming um, this is sort of basic level um, ceremonial magical understanding. So here we've already got, you know, the four elements, um, you know, coined by the ancients, the seven signs of the zodiac um, and the symbols and the sigils that are connected to uh, the zodiac. So, you know, we are um, going into some astrology here as well with um, the north nodes and the south, south node terminology, um, planets, um, you know, traditional holy symbols in regard to the... Um, the tree of life, the 22 letters of the Hebrew, the Hebrew alphabet, uh, a meditation, and then we start working in ritual. So rituals, you know, we've got, we're holding daggers, we're, we're wearing robes, we're, you know, that's ceremonial magic, um, you know, practice. Um, but it's interesting because they do start out with the lesser ritual of the pentagram, which is essentially... Um, the very sort of first uh, ritual that one would be initiated in to perform ceremonial magic. Um, and sort of, so now we're sort of saying, okay, well, here as well, the uses of the pentagram ritual. So why do, we, why do people use these rituals? What are they, what are they for? Um, yes, they're ceremonial. Yes, they're, they're a form of prayer. Um, they can be used as a, a form of protection. Um, and they can be used as an exercise in concentration. So it's all about using the mind, protecting your energy um, and connecting with the divine. Uh, so that's essentially what these um, rituals are used for. Um, but this book, I believe, is, you know, the quintessential. If you're interested in um, understanding um, the full, um, you know, motions and and the way in which you conduct yourself with, within ceremonial magic and using Hebrew um, text, this is essentially the golden dawn, okay? This is the Bible. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, I'm really excited to just weave my way through this uh, cover to cover. It's probably going to be, this is sort of my winter, my winter education uh, over the coming months. We are at the end of April, so we're still, you know, early autumn. Um, I'm coming into season myself, so I'm really excited to, um, yeah, get into this. Now, 
also I wanted to mention as part of this quick video, um, there is a preface written in this book by Sheik, Sheik Shakiro and Sandra Tabaka, Tabitha Shakiro. Um, and these two people um, also created this little beauty, which I also want to share with you. Um, it's something I've had for a while and in my shop, and I've just decided to keep it for myself because I feel um, there's obviously a lot of people who are interested in the Golden Dawn and the Kabbalah and working with um, tarot in this form, not just the Rider weight uh, version, which, you know, is very common and it's what I teach. But this is, again, it's, you know, a, a level of ceremonial magic. And this is a, a beautiful set that I have had for a while. I'll open it up. This is kind of, I guess, going to be a little bit of a, an unboxing. And you can see here the, the symbology on, on the, the front of this book here with um, on the inside of this beautiful um, book and card set. So this is uh, Golden Dawn Ritual Tarot. It comes with ritual, uh, keys to ritual symbolism magic and divination so it does come with a beautiful book um, explaining you know the wheel um you know which is i, I teach this as well um outlining you know the basics of the colors in the ten sephira um, what they all indicate um, tarot on the tree of life as well so it gives you know a really good overview of um you know the basic understandings of of what these cards mean um, this is obviously a tarot set um, and then towards the end of this book, there's actually <clears throat> some rituals here also where you can, um, you know, use these cards to perform magic, basically. For example, the ritual of scrying the tarot. Um, and then these are all, uh, you know, instruction uh, to scry and um, see spirit vision. Inside of this pack... Uh, we have the actual cards themselves, so I'm just going to take those out. Now, these are already, these haven't been opened yet because I haven't used them yet, um, but I am going to use them. So let's just open them now. I really like the back, the backing of these cards as well. Um, I'm just going to use my nails here and open them up. Now, generally speaking, when you open a tarot deck, it's, you know, it's quite ceremonial uh, in a way, but... I've been sitting on these cards for a long time and I feel as though if they're not going anywhere, um, they're obviously meant for me. So I'm going to keep them and I'm just going to keep them for myself. They're not going to be used for um, readings for other people. These are just my, going to be my personal set. Because I figure now I've got the time. I'm ready to go. This has been on my bucket list for a long time. So there you go, that was, that's the box and the set um, here. Um, I'll just read the back as well. Harness the, harness the power and the ritual of magic. Since its inception over 100 years ago, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn has continued to be the authority on initiatory and meditative techniques, uh, teachings of the tarot. This tarot incorporates all of the temple symbolism uh, needed for use in the Golden Dawn rituals, um, created at the behest of the renowned occultist and father of modern of Golden Dawn movement, Israel Regardi, this stunning deck masterfully blends traditional tarot imagery with descriptions of the Golden Dawn initiation ceremonies. This is the first tarot deck to incorporate the symbolism necessary for use in ritual. Okay, so as I said, these are the back, um, which are really quite cool. And nice quality card too. Um, and we have here the Princess of Swords, for example. So this has got the alchemaic symbol in the top here. And then the um, essentially the top, you know, it's the same Golden Dawn um, descriptions of the cards. So that is based on this teaching. So this particular book um, has the teachings written by Israel Regardi. Oh, they have some colour in here too. Actually, I'll just flick through to this. I didn't notice that before. Okay, there's some colour plates in here. Well, that's awesome. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. The Minutum Mundum. Um, obviously, yes, yeah, so these are the colours that are featured in the Tree of Life. Um, I've, I've made presentations on this stuff before, um, but it's nice just to finally have this kind of, you know, uh, the Bible, if you like, 
here of um, this Jewish mysticism um, and everything it entails. There's the um, Rose Cross, which also I've included in some of my courses, um, more of the advanced courses, not the beginner stuff, because um, it is really intense. And there is some sigil sigils on the angelic tablets. Yeah, so this is amazing. I'm really excited to um, commit 100% because I've always been uh, dipping my toe in these things and, you know, having a really good overview of astrology and understanding um, the basics, but never really engrossing myself um, as a practitioner. So I'm looking uh, forward to doing this um, and getting involved. And here we've got here Tarot Key 15, the devil um, by the power of Pan and the goat of Mendes stand. Um, it's really exciting. Um, and we have Pan here as well. So these cards, these tarot cards here are based on uh, the author of, of, this, of this book. Um, and Sheik Chikiro and Sandra Tabitha Chikiro um, created this deck and book set. So I'm really excited to use them. Um, we have the full card, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, emperor, the hierophant, the lovers. This is really colourful as well. And these are kind of a little bit more, I won't say friendlier than the Toth, but they're a little bit more, um, it's just a different artwork. You know, the artwork here is... Um, seems to be obviously a little bit more modern and just a different way of working i like the size of the cards too they're kind of a little bit of an odd shape they're sort of they're not square oh, that's a bit interesting um they're not square but they're not rectangular they're kind of a little bit in between the four wands seven eight nine uh king of wands queen of wands then we have our cups, 9, 10, the king of cups. And I love how they have the alchemy, alchemy, um, alchemy symbol above here for water. And then we have pentacles. These are very black. It's interesting. And rooted in the earth, which is Malkuth. So these are very Malkuth kind of colours as well when we're talking about the tree of life. Um... I'm sorry, I'm just flicking through these. I just think, oh, yellow, aces, you know, the mind, communication. Um, I love the colour palette, actually, in these. They make a lot of sense just by a first glance. And there you go. So there, they are the cards um, for this particular uh, set of uh, divinatory uh, golden ritual tarot um, and I ha now have my beautiful golden dawn um, book from Amazon yay um, it's how many pages is this this is like 800 I'm not including the index official ritual notes uh, yeah so that's that's the end of the book so how many pages are we looking at here yeah 873 pages uh, all together but look you know I think it's important to sort of reach out and expand your knowledge on the occult if you're interested in tarot um, and you you've been doing you know for example the Rider Waite for a very long time and you know I mean you're a little bit more hungry um, I, you know this is obviously the next step this is this is a way in which you can connect with not just the Toth decks I mean I do have a Toth deck um, I've got a couple of Toth decks actually the one that I have, I'll quickly show you, this one was printed um, back in the day. Oh, I don't have it. Where's my top deck? Where are you? Maybe it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is my top deck, um, but this, is a this was originally printed in 1980-something. So these are my, these are original, this is first edition um printing so these guys have been around for a while and the color palette here is your classic um you know this is your classic toth deck which i tend not to use i st this is like the first deck i ever started to use when i picked up tarot um i didn't i didn't sort of learn to use um the rider weight i originally started looking at these 
but obviously as time went on it was just you know more popular to use the rider weight and then I sort of really wrapped my head around that but um, to really immerse yourself into this particular uh, style of reading is again it's another language but at the same time it is the original because it did you know the Hebrew the Hebrew alphabet came before the Rider Waite and you know the Golden Dawn was also based around magic so if you want to use tarot as part of your ritual as part of our ceremonial magic um, this is the way to go so I'm really excited. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick video with me. If you've got any questions, let me know in the description below. Um, and I'll keep you updated with bits and pieces as I make my way through the book and see how winter turns out because um, this is my year, 2022. I was born on the 6th of the 6th and my uh, life path number is uh, number 6 and my master number is 33. So, you know, it's time. It's <laughs> I'm ready. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.